quick. Just, and I don't know if you can answer this very easily because I, I'm sure it looks different in every campus to some extent, but what's a typical Chi Alpha ministry look like on a given campus? Do they have large groups, small groups, yeah. all that kind of thing? Yeah, generally, and it does differ uh, from campus to campus. I mean, we could all talk about that. But really, Chi Alpha uh, thrives in community. Uh, campus ministry thrives in community, which your story was kind of funny about that community of two. But yeah. um, It worked, though. But, yeah, it did yeah. work. <laughs> but, you know, that's why the pan pandemic was so hard on some of our campuses, because we couldn't have that community. And so, you know, kind of coming out of that, we're re re rediscovering community and getting back together. But through that community, we uh, exist in small groups. So our, really, our small group Bible studies is really where we thrive in that, in that closer community of students, you know, discipling one another. So small groups are kind of the lifeblood in general. And then if a campus can kind of swing it, they'll, they'll have like a weekly meeting as well, like a, a large group meeting. And uh, then just a, a bunch of other various events throughout the week. But yeah, small groups for sure, you, usually again, and then a large group meeting and, uh, and then other events. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think one of the things I love most about Chi Alpha is I, I think there's just a tremendous amount of fruit that comes with Chi Alpha. I think there's a great impact that Chi Alpha has. I think when I look at the Assemblies of God and some of the ministries and programs that, that we have to reach people strategically, I think Chi Alpha is right out there in the forefront really like getting it done. And so I guess my question for you, and I think I'll start with Jeremy again, is what, can, can you guys just, can you take a second and just share a win with us? Like maybe one of your stories uh, of a student or something that happened in your ministry that you'd love for the rest of us to know? Yeah, so we, uh, about four years ago, um, we'd been on the campus about five years at that time. Uh, Tiff and I, my wife, we really felt the Lord leading us to pursue fraternities and sororities, which at Drake is about a fourth of the student population. So imagine if a fourth of Indianola was involved in bowling leagues, you better believe you guys are going to have a bowling league, all right, to reach them. So we really wanted to start reaching fraternities and sororities. We were praying, and everything you see in movies about fraternities and sororities, it's true, all right? It, 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 it's, it's probably worse than what you see, actually. And we met this one young man three years ago named Ethan. And I sat down with him in a coffee shop. We're getting to know each other. Comes from a great family, great involved in church. And he said, hey, you know how you told me fraternities would probably want me to join? Yeah. It, they really want me to join. What do I do? And I just give it to him straight. I'm like, look, if you join, you're going to be so tempted and it is going to be so difficult because you're gonna be pressured to get drunk all the time, to smoke weed all the time, to do drugs all the time, to sleep around all the time. It is gonna be incredibly difficult for you to walk out your faith. But if you're serious about reaching this campus for Jesus, what better place to make an impact than a brotherhood of 90 guys? And so he joined, fast forward three years, he's about to be president of the org, of the fraternity, Everyone respects him and listens to him. Everyone on Greek Street, where all the fraternity sororities are, respect him and listen to him. He leads a Bible study in the house. He's set in that house with beer cans and joints around, leading brothers to the Lord. When people go through crisis in that house, they come to him because they know he's a person that will sit with them, that will pray for them. He is having an impact in a way that none of us could have an impact. He's winning souls in a way that only he could do, and it is an incredible thing to watch.